So the kingdom of heaven, like a wedding feast, is an un understatement. What heaven will be like, what heaven will be like, Jesus did not try to describe it. Um, but we're all called to, to go there, and what do we do? Uh, Jesus calls us to the wedding feast of his son. We are to be married to Jesus, so to speak. Um, we are going to our own wedding. We, the church, are going to this wedding, and we're called to this, and what? how do we respond? Do we uh, ignore it? Do we go to our distractions? Do we go to our work? Do we forget about it? Or do we even resort to violence to those who are telling us to telling us about the kingdom of God, telling us about the life of Christianity. We're called to be Christians, to be a Christian. To get this to this wedding feast, we have to be Christian, to be a Christian. And to be a Christian means a lot of things, means a lot of things. So G.K. Chesterton says Christianity is a, a a life that uh, uh, is found difficult and left untried. Many people find Christianity difficult, and so they leave it alone. They don't bother with it. To be a Christian means a lot of things. It means to live a life of virtue. It means to give up a life of vice. To live a life of virtue. To conquer yourself. To do all kinds of good things to strive to overcome all your faults, to strive to acquire all the virtues. And it's a very complex thing. The life of Christian, to, to be a true Christian, a deep blue, true deep Christian is a lot of work. And it's, uh, it's complicated. You can read all kinds of lives on, li uh, 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 books on, on how to live the Christian, Christian virtue and to grow in prayer and grow in wisdom and there's a lot of things to learn and it's an adventure really, it's an adventure and God takes us where we're at he's not going to make us uh, we have to be scientists in Christianity to get to heaven, it's not that way, but there's a lot to learn and, and the never ending learning and so it is truly a, a real adventure um, but we're called to embark on this to, to embark on this uh, journey of Christianity which is as a beginning and never an end always going higher and higher in the, in the heights of holiness um, and if we stop the journey we lose the wedding feast we always have to be on this journey higher and higher and higher growing more and more in virtue, growing to love God more and more and shedding all the vices that we have, shedding them daily, daily, more and more, shedding all our vices. So it's a lot of work. It's You could call it difficult, but what else can you do? What else do you do? If you don't live the life of Christianity, you fall into the flesh, you fall into the world, you sink deeper and deeper into sin and and the mire and unhappiness and live a bad life and make a mess of your life and make a mess of the world and make a mess of everyone around you. Take your choice. It's, it's, in, your, it's in our favor to, to live the life of Christianity, to live it to the full, to live it to the full, to strive to be, to strive to be saints, not just to get to the wedding feast, not just to get to heaven, but to get there in spades, to, to live a life of, uh, to live life to the full, to become a great saint, but you know, mostly to love God with all our heart, to do as much as we can for God, to do as much as we can for God. Uh, it's worth it, and he has the prize. He has a prize that's beyond our dreams, even though he doesn't tell us what it is, doesn't tell us much. It's a wedding feast, uh, you be with the angels and saints who will be with me. And it's going to be a huge surprise, a huge, huge, huge surprise to get to heaven. And uh, behind that curtain, behind that curtain is, is worth 
worth uh, selling everything, worth, worth living life to the full, worth living Christianity to the full. So let us learn. Let us learn what it, what it is to be a good Christian to be. Study the gospel. Study everything Jesus says. Study the teachings of uh, the saints. Uh, pick up the books. Not necessarily the uh, books on theology, but the books on how to be a better Christian. It's worth it, and uh, it will make our life full. Oh, 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 o